everybody, it's Elizabeth from ERWPlans.com. Today we are doing an honest review of the new Passion Planner markers. So first I'll just go over the Passion Planner markers on a kind of high level and then we'll get to testing those compared to the markers and highlighters that I currently use. Uh, the first thing I will say when I got these is I was a little surprised. They say on the website, Passion Markers. And then right at the bottom, 12 dual tip highlighters. So are they markers or highlighters? That, that was kind of my question. It says water-based, bleed resistant, and acid-free. So we're gonna try those out and see how they compare on all three of those metrics. Um, this There's two packs available. There's like a six color and a 12 color. I got the 12 color to test out all the colors. And I've been using this in my planner for the last week or so since they arrived. Uh, to kind of get a feel for it, see how I like them uh, compared to my usual uh, pens and markers. So I've got myself a passion planner here. Whoa! And we're just going to go ahead and test these bad boys out. Okay. September calendar. Now, first thing, it says that they are bleed resistant. So We'll test these out. Um, as I've said in forums before, make sure that you're not pushing too heavy. I'm a bit, I was a bit heavy handed when using like my mild liners. And uh, yeah, <laughs> then I was getting bleed through and I'm like, what's going on? These aren't so juicy coming out as the mild liners are. And as you can see or can't see here, there's no bleed through. So they are in fact bleed resistant. I can't test if they're actually acid free. I can tell you that they're water based because they are bleed resistant. And if I take a little bit of water on my finger here, they fade with the water because they're water based. So you could actually, they're not juicy enough to be able to use as a watercolor like Tombow's are, but there's an example of, yep, they're water based. They don't bleed through and they totally smear with water. So don't get them wet. I'm going to use this same page to kind of go over all of our colors. Um, do they have names? I don't think they have names written on them. So this is the, and I kept them in order. This is the red one. Because so when I was using them, I made sure to keep them in order in the container. So you could see the color payoff compared to how they look. The, the fine tips are actually really fine. I'm gonna be kind of interested when I put these next to the uh, uh, dual tips, the Stadler ones, to see how the colors compare or how the fine line compares, I should say. So I'm just gonna go, oh, that one is bright. That is like exceptionally bright green. I'm trying to leave some room so I can do mild liners next to them. Not as thick as I meant to do. So yeah, the first thing I think I'll say is that you should note that the color on the tip here doesn't always equal the color that comes out. Sometimes it's real dang close, like that blue there. But like other times, like this kind of dark orange that came out more of like a gold color, where this Get yeah, this blue is more like a periwinkle, I guess. I kind of feel like they copied the mild liner colors, if I'm quite honest. But I like this purple. Um, not, I don't think that the mild liners have a purple like that, so I like that purple. But we'll see. So, I definitely know there's mild liners in this color. So I used them in my last video. I find it real interesting that for this blue, the fine liner color isn't the same shade of blue. It's more of a purple. I don't know if that's just a mistake in my marker set. 
or what? Just like this purpley color here, the fine liner looks actually kind of the same as the pink. I put them next to each other. They're pretty much the same color despite having clearly different cap colors. So that's kind of interesting. But this one, when I was using, when I was, because I'm doing blue in September, indigo specifically, I was really excited about this one. And yeah, the it, this is not this color. It's closer, in fact, to that color. There's that. Get the purple one out. Anyway, so that's what they all look like. As you can see, even when I went doubled back over it, there's still no bleed through. So that's good. They definitely do not bleed. Let's compare them to my top, my uh, mild liners. Yes. This is the gold. I have the light orange, which is much brighter orange. I wonder if the other orange, let's, let's check out the other orange in the mild liners. Oh yeah, that's much closer to the other orange. And then the yellow, I think it's going to be closer to the bright yellow. Yep. Green. I'm not sure which one this is going to be comparable to. That's darker than both. Let's see about the chartreuse. Those are definitely two different colors. Um, this, I think, is going to be close to this one here. Yeah, they're like the same. This, I think, will be closer to this one. Darker. Let's, I know the light one's going to be way lighter. And now we have the purples. I think this purple is going to be closer. Yeah, that's the closest to that one, but it's still darker. And then the lavender. That's actually a pretty close dupe. Let's just go. Yeah, it's really the same. And then this one, this is gonna be a closer to the purple, yeah. This should be, this is I think gonna be the same as that one. Yeah, pretty much. And then the light pink is gonna be lighter than this other one here because this is like the neon color section. So yeah. So there's our colors. I have a red, I just don't know where it went to to test out against this. Um, this is gonna be too orange, I can tell you right now, because this is in their bold colors. It's fairly close in shade, but it's just way too bold. Let's try this one. Oh, actually, that one's not that far off. This is, they're definitely different than the red that's usually in this set that's in my uh, other case. So there's your dupes. Um, if the mild liners, because the mild liners definitely cost more money. Um, it's at the mild liners, but there's 25 of them are out of your price range. You could definitely use the passion planner markers as a dupe. Um, I would say grab these here. I would say there's not really a dupe for this one. This and this are this is these are the same. The mild gold. It's pretty much the same. Um, this orange one is, you have darker or lighter, you don't really have the same orange color. The yellow is more yellow. Same thing with the greens. Um, we don't really have a green that matches their like greens. But this, which is the mild blue green, is a dupe. I'm gonna say the mild blue is a dupe. Don't really have a dupe for this kind of periwinkle color here. Um, did I try this one? Hold on. Let me see this one. Oh, there we go. We have a dupe. I think that's mild periwinkle, actually. Uh, it's a little off, but it's close enough. I think that's what it is. This is mild violet. Those are all of our dupes. All the ones I would consider pretty much the exact same color as the mild liners. So the next thing I wanted to test out is opacity and um, whether they're really highlighters or markers. I mean, based on what I'm seeing here, 
I would totally say that they are actually highlighters, but let's find a page. We'll test it out back here because we have lots of text. So just for reference, we're going to use the same kind of two shades. We're going to use pink and light purple. And here, I'm going to first test opacity. So we'll do the pink opacity to here. Fairly opaque. Here. Oh, we got it's got a little juicy there. Still no bleed through. Versus the mild liners, which again they're a bit lighter in color. Pretty much the same. I would say maybe slightly less opaque, but pretty much the same level of opacity. Tombos. Also about the same. Though as you get darker, they become less and less opaque. I'd say these are, if we're gonna, let's just finish up with our dual tips here. I'll just do the dual tip over on this side. And then this is a different entire shade, but we'll do that. So if I'm gonna rank them on opacity, I'd put Mild Liners, then the Passion Planner, then Tombow and then you'll dual tips. Because the dual tips are definitely markers. The Tombows are meant to be markers. And then these are meant to be highlighters. So it's kind of, I'd say closer to a highlighter than it is to a marker for sure, but it, you could use it as a marker. Um, next thing I wanna look at is the width on them. So, mild liner. I'm just gonna use the purples. Passion Planner. Girl, we're just using Tombow. Or we're just using Tombow and Dual Tip. As you can see, it's they're pretty good dupes for the Mild Liners. They're a little bit thicker than the Mild Liner is. Not as thick as the Tombow. Not as thick as the... Um, or, and they're definitely thicker than the uh, Super Tips. And we'll check out next is the fine lining side. The fine lining side on the mild liners is pretty thick. You can make a really good dot with it just by pushing into it. I use them to make dotted lists like all the time. These are super thin. In fact, I want to test those versus my... Uh, Stadler's over there, and I'll do that in a minute. So they're even thinner than the Tombos. And then the dual tips. So yeah, they are super thin for markers when it comes to the, I mean, they're really fine. Um, I don't want to compare them to my uh, my microns. I think we'll do that. Let me grab a micron. So let's we'll do one more comparison. I'm gonna use the pinkish color this time. I'm gonna use pink, pinky purple color. I've got red here. Um, I'm gonna pay less attention to the color and more attention to the line. So this is the Tri Plus Fine Liner. So this is the Stabler. This is the Micron in the O5. Uh, let me grab this. This is a mild liner. Which is definitely more of a marker feel to it than anything else. Do the Tombow. Dual tip or your Crayola super tip. And then let's do, oh, I got this kind of medium color passion planner. So the passion planner markers, 
it actually looks thinner than the Stadler. Um, let me get my super. We're going to trust this out against a super fine. So this is the so this is the thinnest that the microns do, and this is the micron 005. That is actually thinner than the Passion Planner marker. I would say that the Passion Planner marker's fine tip is close to the, oh, the 01 in the micron, so it is really, really fine. As far as calligraphy with the two, Let's just do, I like to write the word hello when I'm testing calligraphy. There's that one. Super tip. That's your Tombow. And for the passion player marker, obviously I can't do calligraphy with their fine points. I'm going to have to do it with the Chisel tip. Yeah, I guess I could go back in with the fine point just to make it kind of legible. I feel like you definitely don't see the strokes like you do with the other ones. Kind of gives it a cool ribbon effect. But yeah, essentially. Let's just break this down. Oh, I didn't check. The one thing I didn't check was buildable color. So let's do that. So if I color in my thing there, it doesn't blend. It dries pretty fast. the brush tip makes this a lot easier. Without blending, it looks pretty well blended, and then I can just use my finger and blend the rest of the way. I'll just make a square down here. I can blend it. So, final verdict on the Passion Planner markers. They are most definitely highlighters. Um, as you can see, they have, they're thick and you can write with them. I wasn't impressed with the color payoff of the fine liner part. Um, it definitely didn't match the cap or the line color. I mean, this is the line color for this really light pink here. So, I mean, you definitely don't, you're not getting the color that you're seeing on the cap. You're getting something that's less dark and less bright. Uh, the worst defender for that is this orange, which looks really nicely bright orange and then comes out kind of goldenrod. Um, they are really good if for highlighting, for sure. Um, because they are water-based, you will have to make sure you're using a pen that's an ink pen like you do with the um, mild liners. I would recommend using a fine liner for that. Um, and I would definitely recommend against using them if you use your stuff for calligraphy. Obviously, the um, mild liners, the fine tips, and the Tombows work great for calligraphy, but I had to actually kind of reline my letters in order to make them look like letters and not squiggly mess. And then finally, they, like I said, they work great as a highlighter. I wouldn't use them if you're doing like a coloring book or something, just because the fine liner is almost as fine as the finest micron. And the chisel tip doesn't blend at all. So great, if you are using these to study, if you're gonna use these to do your roadmap, so, this is like my game changer. And then you want to like highlight over it to make it look super, you know, stand out or to highlight what you're working on currently. Well, first of all, you're going to need something because they're water based. You're going to need something that doesn't bleed because as you can see, we got bleed here. Um, but also th this will work great for going through your uh, roadmap and highlighting what you're currently working on and what you've completed. Um, they'll work great how I've been using them all month, which is to highlight my days. 
but they're not gonna be a marker. They're not a marker. They're a highlighter. So, Passion Planner highlighters. If you uh, like, if you're interested in buying some, you can get a link um, in the description. If you use the code Elizabeth10, you get 10% off your purchase. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, if you like the video, please make sure to subscribe so you'll get notifications of each new video. Also like, leave a comment and share the video so I know what you like. Uh, we have new videos that go live every Wednesday. Um, until then, I will see you next week. Uh, take care and enjoy the next video.